a new dating app is launched. Instead of a photo of the person, it shows you a photo of their bedroom, car, kitchen, shoes, how they have their tea, coffee, things like that. What photo would tell you the most about someone? And would you be most interested to see to choose his potential date? I would like to see their fridge please. You can only see the fridge or the freezer. Which one? Our fridge detective. Specifically their cheese drawer. If a drawer hasn't been converted to a cheese drawer it would be a hard pass. I'm a big clean bedroom person. I know everyone would just tidy their room for their photo but if it was honest it'd be really handy for me. My therapist told me that one of her patients was depressed so he didn't clean his room for months. Anyway, she asked him to see a picture of his room and that made him clean it up because he was too ashamed. I hope you like piles of laundry thrown everywhere. Side note, anyone remember that old MTV show Room Raiders? Where the girl guy would go through like three people's rooms and try to determine who to date based upon their room. This could totally work. Edit. I said it. Once. Twice. Three times in this thread and I'll say it again. Who f cares that it was clearly staged faked? I don't know any of the girls and I don't know any of the guys. I have no involvement in any of their lives. It doesn't matter to me if they're real, it was entertaining. I didn't watch Room Raiders as a junior in high school because I thought love was in the air and that somebody would find their forever by sniffing panties. I watched it because it was hilarious. Edit 2. Some of you are really mad about my first edit. Guys, this is Ask Reddit. I'm sitting in my pajamas talking about a TV show from 16 years ago. Take a deep breath. I'm not that serious about the show. I honestly hadn't thought of it in over a decade until seeing this thread this morning. Their kitchen sink. For me. Their kitchen cupboard. What food do they like? And presumably cook. Are they on a special diet? What brands do they prefer? Do they have decent coffee? Do they stock up on stuff like long life milk and basics like baked beans and tin tomatoes? Because a kitchen sink to you is not a kitchen sink to me. Okay, friend. Bruh don't do me like that. My roommate literally would ruin this for me. The last six meals they cooked. 1. Noodles with tomato sauce and sausage. 2. Noodles with tomato sauce and sausage. 3. Noodles with tomato sauce and sausage. 4. Fish. 5. Noodles with potato sauce and sausage. 6. I don't remember. Edit. Never expected a stupid list with a funny typo would be my most upvoted comment. Thanks. I wouldn't have documentation going that far back. I have this amazing personal artisan sandwich chef named James John. His father also makes pizzas for a decent price. Their collections. Do they collect books? Board games? Video games? Sneakers? Cocktail dresses? Makeup? Computer parts? Minerals? Dead insects? Skulls? Empty Doritos bags? Children from different mothers, fathers? Beanie babies? I wanna know. Well, how did you know all the things I collect? Weird. Video games. I would prefer not to let a potential date know how much I've spent on Steam. To be honest, I just need an audio file of them chewing. Oh no. If this was the case I would have never given my wife a chance. I love her like no other. But she is such a loud jeer. I'm sorry we'll never be together. Make it video. Do they chew with their mouth open? Also, do they slurp? Shudder. I would never marry my wife if I knew how the room looked. Feels like a scene from Indiana Jones some days instead of snakes cats jump it from under piles of stuff. I met someone the other day who just brought out a dating app that required a photo to be taken. Every day at a random time. You only had 15 seconds to take a photo of yourself so you couldn't fake what you look like. He told me sometimes he had to take a picture in a busy metro. Pretty interesting concept. If you missed the photo opportunity, you couldn't use the app for the rest of the day. 
Sounds like prime data mining. Their bathroom. I feel like I judge a person on the state of it. I feel uncomfortable if it's in a state of really uncleanliness due to you using it to be clean. Also if their towels are constantly damp. Edit changed spelling from their to their. I've always told my friends that when having company over, especially if it's a date, that the first and foremost thing they'll be judged on is the state of the bathrooms. Whichever they use. I wouldn't want to see their car, but their vehicle's maintenance history. My last ex had a 2018 Chevy, and killed the engine because she went 60k miles without an oil change. I dky but this is hilarious to me. Shouldn't be but it is. Drove my Chevy to the levee. Oops my dipstick is dry. Hey, I wanna go on a date. Let me see the Carfax. How they load the dishwasher. This alone would weed out the psychopaths. What is you hand wash dishes? Plates and utensils on the bottom. Everything else up top. Hand wash pots and pans. Their bookshelf. Edit. I didn't realize I'd start a discussion so I'll add to my answer. Bookshelf can mean anything from actual bookshelf to e-reader to even just a list of books they've read. I love to read and can't imagine being with someone who has no interest in learning. It's not so much what someone reads so long as they show an interest in learning, expanding their minds, and enjoying a good story. Seeing their bookshelf can tell you a lot about what interests they have and the interests you share. You don't have to like the same books at all. In fact, I love the idea of sharing my favorite books with someone who's never read them but will hopefully enjoy them, and vice versa. Which way the toilet paper roll is. This is the only one that matters. And whether or not they put the toilet lid down. Playlist for sure that'd tell a lot. On Tinder most people share their Spotify top tracks. Integrated in the app. There is already an app like that. That you can choose the person by their playlist. It's called Taste Buds. That would tell me a lot but it's weird because I don't make playlists anymore. I just use the Spotify playlists that get changed every week. But the style of music I like doesn't change. Single farmer seeks woman with tractor for marriage. Send picture of tractor. Farmers only. In my country we have a show. Basically called Farmer Seeks Wife and it's just farmers dating. Okay. Dwight. Not answering the question, but that is one of the most brilliant ideas for a dating app I've ever heard. Well, we have purple trying to fake pictures if themselves already. I guarantee whatever pictures they're taking will be cleaner and more organized than real life. How would one enforce this on the app though? Most people will simply put photos of their faces instead of photos of the belongings or house. Characteristics? Do you have a tattoo in your forehead that says do not develop my app? Video game collection. If she doesn't have Tetris, she won't ever get my straight four piece. Oh boy, finally can bust out my Donkey Kong Barrel Blast collection. The subreddits they're subscribed to. Time to unsub from our dragons fucking cars. A full access to their browsing history. You monster. That'd be unfair. It'd bore people away immediately. How long do you cook a two and a half pound pork tenderloin? Best cat flea treatments. How do I stop my stupid cat from eating too fast? I am gonna corner the market on girls looking for s cooks with a flea ridden cat that throws its food up. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. 